Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from uh, Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and uh, Taurus Rising. Weekly tarot reading for April 6th to uh, April, uh, April 1st to April 6th, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a general reading for Taurus star sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to resonate um, <clears throat> for a it will regard to different thing and it will re it will resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Tauruses so uh, that being said if you want a, a personal reading uh, where your personal situation is to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, I'm gonna give you uh, what is going to happen for it in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the live uh, call readings so that being set aside going to the to the Taurus's uh, weekly reading here the first card which is marking the topic for Taurus this week that is going to be the page of pentacles followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the ace of wands then it is the positive approach toward the situation and it looks like we do have a somewhat a, a romantic shade in this week or the possibility for that is very big with the two of cups positive approach and the negative and the final outcome of growth here should you follow the guidance of tarot that is going to be the justice card so once again page of pentacles then it is the ace of wands after that we do have the two of cups and finally we do have the uh, justice card all right so uh, like i said guys uh, it does look like that uh, this week is gonna have some sort of a, a romantic shade uh, and the initiation uh, what i mean is that because we're talking about a person that will be your prime subject here the page of pentacles uh, the circumstances around the uh, the interaction and the initiation may be about something completely different and yet, you know, through you cooperating with this person, um, you know, miraculously or even not miraculously, but as the, as the things go on, you know, more emotional connection and more emotional empathizement could emerge for you both. So uh, that is the subject here, that is the topic of your week, Page of Pentacles. This is a, a very cheerful and uh, somewhat very young in spirit person, a, a youthful spirit person, which is dedicated and devoted to an, an idea. In this case, your idea. So you do have a, a faithful follower or a faithful supporter here for throughout the week which is going to toil with you regarding whatever goal you do have forward. You know, it could be a friend of yours that is going to cooperate with you and is going to be enthralled by your ideas. It could be that coworker which is going to help you with your project and so on and so forth. But with the page, you need to know as well, especially as we do have the two of, pen, of cups here, is that a emotional connection could emerge from this cooperation. So, you know, if you are single and you like the person which you are cooperating with, we're going to go there in a, in a second, you know. Uh, it will be beneficial for you if you allow them to approach you in a more, I, I cannot say really intimate level, but more close level than usual. The accompanied card of the page of uh, pentacles that is going to be the emperor. The formation here is passive uh, neutrals. So it, it does look like that the page itself or this person, it's going to have a little clue. Um, how to help you or how to contribute for your idea however it doesn't look like that this person is gonna is going to um message or i don't know how to say it uh kind of like obstruct you in any way so uh, the best way i can say that if they cannot help you at least they are not going to obstruct you in uh, any way following you know your agenda and your goal but it will come to you or it falls to you to organize and systemize the environment and place this person exactly as the person 
should be. So you are going to be the one saying, for example, if that is someone helping you into your career with your projects, you know, you do this, you do that. So it's kind of like a little bit bossing this person around, but they're going to like it because they will know that on their own, you know, they cannot help you in any way because the page as well very well understands the, uh, the investments in a sense of that if they invest in the wrong way, you know, they can jeopardize the situation um, quite much. And that's why if we're talking about a romantic involvement here, uh, this page or this person could be a bit hesitant and as well may not approach you straight away directly, but instead, you know, we'll play the game to the, of the cat and mouse, to chase it, uh, so to see, you know, how, uh, how much you are into that endeavor and so on and so forth. The uh, negative approach to all the situation, Taurus, is that is going to be the Ace of Wands and about and this is about you rushing the situation out. And how can I express it, you know? Um, well, it is about rushing the situation and um, trying to jump from one thing from one thing to another. The ace does represents creative chaos and as well very gaining for enterprise which comes from the brand new thing or rather like something that you haven't worked upon this uh, this very moment and as we do have it into a negative position well then it means that you should first capitalize and systemize on your already current endeavors and things that you do uh, try to push through at this very moment with the help of this page instead of forcing and expecting a and you beginning around. The, uh, the appearance of the ace into this position Tauruses as well points that you do have all the means necessary in order to push your things through. Maybe what you have missed here is the support and the fellowship of this person that comes around throughout this week, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. The accompanied card of the Ace of uh, Wands, this is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, so we do have active neutrals here. And uh, at that point, uh, you need to seek the opening to further one's goal instead of uh, searching for additional or brand new goal, brand new enterprise, like we said. Additionally to that, it will benefit you a lot if you maintain a somewhat harmony, harmony into your uh, relationships or yeah, to to aid to strive and aim to make your relationships more harmonious. That includes making compromises. That includes you know um, spending more time with people and so on and so forth. And uh, the appearance of this ace here, it is a, a sign, especially career wise. That is, is that your business can be more successful at this at its current stage as you think it is. So there are still things, or there there are still. Um, openings that you haven't explored yet uh would how can i place it well it's it, you have not explored well they are around you you know but you're not seeing them if i may say that way so you have created those opportunities it is just you're not aware that you have created those opportunities so they are not new opportunities okay they are around you it is just they could appear new to you but it, it will not require additional efforts to create it. So uh, going to the next card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups only says that you need to cooperate with that person. It's all that the card says. You should be more gentle when it comes to um, tackling and uh, contributing with the person itself. You should uh, leave your pride at the shelf and as well... Um, the uh, what was the English word here, guys? Um, the shyness. All right. So you should not be shy, especially when it when when we are talking about a um, a romantic interest here with with this page. And if it is a romantic interest, it is very likely that that will be a, a person you already know. Most likely, someone who is very close to you, into your social circle. And uh, with the two of cups as well, it will benefit you once again a lot if you maintain the harmony and the peacefulness into your environment, career, relationship wise, or social circle wise as well. Um, <clears throat> the accompanied card of the Two of Cups, this is going to be the star card. So the formation is passive 
neutrals and we do have one more confirmation here with the start appearing at that place is that you you should first capitalize at 100% maximum at your current endeavors, endeavors instead of searching for I new opportunities or new goals to chase. Which uh, Taurus is really talks to me that you have quite a unfinished business to do or it's a, uh, it is a thing that you haven't developed yet to its maximum, to its 100% and now throughout this week um, April 1st to April 6th with the cooperation of this person, the Page of uh, the page of Pentacles, which is going to be dedicated and devoted to your business, to make a relationship with you or to be in a very good terms into your uh, social circle will help you to discover, you know, what you are, uh, what you are not paying attention to and where your lucrivity, for example, or happiness uh, lies and together you can achieve a great results because once again the page does not bet I mean the page does not play risky and once again together it doesn't look like that you are having what to lose into this situation and lastly uh, the final outcome of growth here this is going to be the justice so the justice says that the justice law and order are going to be in place as well as you will be able to discern very well through the situation, being account accountable to the situation and toward oneself uh, as well in there. And that will have a big cleansing effect and is going to give you a lot of benefits. So uh, at the end, it seems that your priorities, the structure of your priorities according to um, or while you go along and cooperate with that pay with that person with that page of pentacles will have a, a very nurturing effect over the chaos that may surround you so if you don't know what to do where to start from into certain project or into certain or in a certain relationship or in your life in general well at the end of this week you know the plan is going to be created or in other words you're going to systemize your priorities uh, in appropriate way where you are not going to have any kind of issues tackle with all those priorities taking one at a time and the accompanied card here this is going to be the nine of cups so formation is a active neutrals a lot of neutrals uh, is what we do have actually all the combinations here are neutrals and uh, with that being said, it does look like uh, with these couple of cards is that some of these uh, responsibilities you are to systemize for yourself or to structure for yourself may not be of your liking, but you are to understand at the end is that uh, this, the grand scheme of things or the grand achievement cannot uh, cannot be uh, reached or cannot be achieved if you don't attend into those small and irritating, you know, minor details or responsibilities that require that the, the 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 thing requires, you know, and that is going to what what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that you are to face the chores of your endeavors with much bigger ease and with much more exhilaration knowing that these chores are going to pay a, a big time but with these cards at the end it doesn't look like that your happiness will linger on a chance but you are but you're going to have a, a pretty uh, good idea you know how to become successful into your career and how to become happy into your private life either being single or choice mate, you know, being with this person, the page of pentacles, someone that you already know, someone that you probably meet on a, a daily basis. So that being said, Tauruses, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Taurus star sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to regard to different things for every single different uh, Taurus and is going to resonate in a different way and level again with every single different Taurus. But if you want a personal reading where your personal situation is to be analyzed by me through tarot and for me to give you what is going to happen with it um, in the future, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.